Going back to our kitchen example, this is like how you can locate the pots as within the pot rack. The pot rack starting arrow is right here, and it goes down to this other arrow here, and you can see that all the pots are nested underneath the pot rack element. They're inside of it. And that makes sense because they are all on the pot rack. And of course, as we scroll up, we can find that while the counter ends and there's a new thing called the cabinet, the cabinet is composed of shelves. There's a couple of shelves and then the shelves contain things like plates. So this makes perfect sense. You have to go to the cabinet and open it up and then there's shelves. You look inside the cabinet, you find various shelves until you find the shelf that has what you're looking for on it. And then inside that shelf, you can, you can find your plates and bowls and the things that you're actually looking for. Now, of course, all of this is inside of the kitchen, which is also indicated in our little example of fake code. The kitchen is at the very top. And then if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, here's the closing kitchen tag. So everything between this arrow pointing up and this arrow pointing down is inside the kitchen. Another way that, we, that programmers talk about it is this is a parent and this is a child. Or this li, it has an ancestor, that is the ul. And this ul has a descendant, that is the li. And we have a similar thing going on here with the li and the anchor tag. The anchor tag is actually inside the list item. It's not the next one after. We can't put close li because we want to surround the anchor. So the anchor tag, the anchor element, is a child of the li element, which is a child of the ul. So, okay, answer this as you're watching this video right now. This li right here that I'm highlighting, what is its relationship to this ul? Say it. It's the child. This is the child of this. Now, what is this li's relationship to this li? If you said child, you're, you're actually not right, but you're thinking through it, which is good. They're actually siblings. And that's the actual technical term. These are siblings. They're all children of this ul, so they're all siblings of each other. Now, here's another question. This a, what would you say its relationship is to this li? It's not sibling because they're not both children of the same parent. You, this isn't, we don't actually have a technical name for it, but it's something like uncle, right? This is, this is the child of this ally and this is a sibling. So your, your parent's sibling is your uncle or aunt. There's not actually a technical term for that. But what's important is that you don't think that this anchor is a sip, whoops, undo. You don't think that this anchor is a sibling to this li or a descendant of this li. This anchor is only a, a descendant of this li. Now, what is this anchor's this anchor's um, relationship to this unordered list element? Not a parent because it's one step up. It's a grandparent, or the more general technical term is just ancestor. Good. So. Hopefully this is not too confusing for you if you're just starting out with HTML.